Good morning, my dear students. A warm welcome to all of you. Welcome to the Vidya Bharati program. And we are really very fortunate to watch this program through DD Saptagiri channel. So, students, we all came very closer because it is telecasted and uh, you are able to learn your lessons regularly. I hope you all are following these lessons. You can watch these programs even in YouTube channel also. So, if you miss the lesson, then you can go with YouTube channel and watch these programs. Now, coming to today's topic, attitude is altitude. Now, we are going to deal with worksheet 2 on A reading and the four components which are covered in this worksheet 2 are comprehension, vocabulary, grammar and creative expression. So, attitude is altitude. Now, what is attitude? Attitude, what kind of attitude we should have? So, that we can learn very clearly, very vividly from the life of Nick Oichich. Now, you must have listened to the lesson in the previous weeks and today we are simply just going to recapitulate the lesson attitude is altitude. Now, here you can see on the left hand side the picture of Nick Oichich and we have some, uh, there is a simple mind mapping in order to recollect the lesson. Now, Nick Oichich, he was a, he is a torso. So, torso you know it is without arms and legs and then father and mother support. Now, here Nick Oichich when he was born, then he did not have arms and legs and father and mother were so disappointed with him and uh, in the beginning his distraught mother even did not take him into her hands and father and mother later on decided to support Nick Oichich. And how did father help him? Father helped him swim when he was 18 months old, he put him in the water in a swimming pool and uh, in order to enable him to swim. Then mother who was a nurse who took a lot of care during pregnancy, but still felt very bad and blamed herself that she did not get a son, a complete bodied son. So, it was a torso, but still she made a plastic device. She supported him by making a plastic device to hold pen, pencil, etc. in order to write. Even though all these were done when he was 8 years old, he was depressed. He felt so depressed, cold and bitter because without arms you cannot do anything. Just imagine, uhinchko galra, arms lekunda, kaalu chetulu lekunda, ekkadiki mobility anedi lekunda, manali mana uhinchko galma. So, avidanga, 8 years wise lo, mari nikka chala disappoint hai payadu. And he even hated God. Why God has done to me like this? Why it is only me? So, that was the question in the mind of Nick Oichich. Then when he was 10 years old, he did another thing. Because of this disappointment and depression, he tried to commit suicide. So, he tried committing suicide, but it was unsuccessful. Unsuccessful because God has destined something else for him. Devudi uddesam inkokati. See, man proposes and God disposes antam kada. So, ante indi devani yukka yuddesam vere undada batti, athana unsuccessful ayadu, athana commit chesko lek payadu suicide. So, what was that uh, moment when he changed himself? That is, when he was 13 years old, he read about a disabled person in a newspaper. It was an article given in the newspaper and 13 years old, th that was a turning point in his life. He uh, had a, uh, uh, he made a decision for himself. Uh, when he read about that disabled person, he took a decision that he should not die or he should not feel any kind of depression. And that is how the journey of success started in the life of uh, Nick Oichich. He became an inspirational speaker and now he went uh, all over uh, the world, more than 20 countries and he gave a lot of speeches and uh, inspired more people, more and more people uh, during his journey. And this was 
a small recapitulation. So, now you must have understood what is attitude. So, attitude is altitude, altitude means heights, how you can go to heights, how you can reach the peak, the zenith, uh, it is possible only when you have attitude. So, when we speak about attitude, I just remembered a story, uh, shall I share with you? I hope you will uh, enjoy this story and you will understand much better what attitude is. So, attitude anagane, elante attitude undali ever kaina sare, ante uh, I will uh, share a story. There was a monk and a disciple, uh, they used to uh, do this penance uh, meditation. So, uh, meditation ki six months they used to stay in the uh, mountains. So, Parvatala Madhya tapas ches kuntu, aru nella kadundi, aru nella lu tirigi ocche se varan maata. So, when they came back, they used to stay in a small hut. So, vala kosa moka hut undi, a hut lo nivasistu unde vallu. So, once uh, it happened that uh, they both uh, after six months, they came back to their hut. But what happened when they came back, the hut was almost shattered and a roof ledu sariga, gali ka akula ni egiri poyayi, sagam roof anta poyindi. So, ala a mottam cottage anta koda avilu nivasinche a chinna poori illu chala dharuna minus thithi lo ondi. So, appudu uh, the disciple was so disappointed to see that. So, ventane adige adu guru garni. Guruji, see the hut is almost shattered, it was completely damaged. So, how can we live in this? Then the Guruji, he smiled and said, he said, uh, my dear uh, boy, we must be very fortunate. Now, till now, we were in open air. Ippad varku manamu chakkadi gali, happy ga, open pradesh allo manamu meditation chesko na chankada. So, that is why now God has given us this uh, hut half, half covered. So, ila unna hut lo mano happy ga unda galugutu namo anjepi atanu positive ga matla daran mati. He was so happy, but the disciple was not satisfied with the Guruji's answer. Then later, uh, when they slept, Guruji was able to sleep very peacefully, happily. But uh, this disciple, he was just rolling this side and that side. He was unable to sleep in the hut. Then uh, in the midnight, what happened? In the midnight, there was a heavy rain, a stormy rain and suddenly the disciple, he got up and said, see now we are also drenching in rain. Manamu thadisu pothanamu, muddai pothanamu, ikada hat ki roof ledu, meeremu chala positive ga this kundu naranangane, guru gar lechi, ventane happy ga navu kundu, oh it is so happy, I am so happy. For six months, we did not take any bath. That is why God is showering his blessings, showering the rain so that we can be clean enough. So, alaga, so now from this story you must have understood the attitude of the disciple and the attitude of the monk or the Guruji. So, Apudu Guru Garnichu see a disciple realize ayadu. Then he understood how peaceful we can be if we have a positive attitude. So, Guru Gar the positive attitude and the disciple and a Sishudu negative attitude to Nadu. Because of the difference in attitude, see how the life was. It was very peaceful with the monk and very distressed and disturbed with the disciple. So, Andhukani, if you have a positive attitude uh, towards life, then the success will be there and you can be very peaceful. I hope you like this story and you must have understood what a positive attitude is. So, such positive attitude was developed by Nick Oichich. So, he was very, uh, he became an inspiration speaker because uh, he uh, understood that even though he was disabled, he can lead a successful life. Here I can give you some dialogues of Nick Oichich. There are some dialogues here. I would be lost without it. So, this was told by Nick when he was joking and when he was uh, humorous about his small foot on his left hip. Uh, left hip kuna okka chinna small foot valle, the whole life he is leading successfully. So, Andhukani, Asandar Ballo, he said, he also commented him uh, his uh, 
toe or foot as a uh, chicken drumstick. So, I would be lost without it. So, I would be lost, I would die. There is no chance of any kind of positivity in my life. Another dialogue, I was deeply depressed when I was 8 years old. So, 8 years old, he was so depressed, he went to his mom, he cried and said, Mom, I want to kill myself, I do not want to live this life. I'm uh, the friends were teasing him, he was bullied and he did not like to join the mainstream school. So, all these things happened with Nick and that is why he was deeply depressed. See the other dialogue, I felt there was no purpose when you lack purpose and strength. So, feeling when there is no purpose of life, see each one of us, we have a purpose in life. Edo kati manamu chayal and kudam, life lo edo kati sadhin chalane korika manandar lo kuda untundi. So, that is the purpose of life and that is the target or the aim of our life. So, ade leka pote, without arms and legs, he felt that there is no purpose in living. So, that is when you lack purpose and strength. Strength here means the ability, the ability to move, the ability to do something. Alanti ability le there is no purpose in living ani nikka feel ayadan mata. I realized why God had made us like this to give hope to others. See, this is another powerful dialogue of Nick Oichich. I realized why God had made us like this. So, eppudaite 13 years vice law, when he read the newspaper article about the disabled man, then he realized why God has made him like that. He understood, till then he hated God, but then he understood that God had made, made them, made him to give hope to others to give an inspiration to others. Then a life a example out on the ani atanu stronger anukunnadu. The challenges are there in our lives to strengthen our convictions. So, here he speaks about the problems we encounter in our life. Every person has a challenge. So, adu gadu guna manam konni paristhithul ni vipatkara paristhithul lavachu lagpote pratikula paristhithul lavachu unfavorable conditions. So, ilandi manam face chesu untam even though they are there we are our lives to strengthen our conviction we have a belief that we can strong we strongly believe that we can overcome that. So, adi overcome avagalamu ane mana oka drukpadam unte ne that positive attitude if you have then you can face the challenges successfully and reach the peaks. Now, see the other dialogue. It felt absolutely fantastic and I caught some waves pretty well. So, Athanu, e dialogue eppudannadu, when you can attribute this dialogue, when he met Bethany Hamilton. So, Bethany Hamilton ni kalsina pudu, he understood what life is actually when he, when she uh, was able to became a surfing master even without a, a, an arm. She became a surfing master. So, he felt absolutely fantastic. So, in the beginning he was tensed, but later he felt absolutely fantastic because he was able to catch the waves and also it was so exciting for him and he within 48 hours he was on the cover page magazine of the magazine. And uh, that was the success he received. And the A.D. start chase, na, he was successful. He was able to kick a football. He was able to learn typing with the help of his father. And then he was able to uh, learn uh, uh, golf, everything. All these he was able to do just because he had one small foot on his left hip. Then uh, at the end of the lesson, we have this strong dialogue. If I fail, I try again and again and again. If you fail, are you going to try again? So, he is questioning. Idi mano andaram koda manali manam prasninch calls and vishyam. Enti padipote malli levagalama. Ante life lo eda ina oka failure face cheyenga ne inkante jivitam aipo indi. Ana anu koda anki manam ishta padakordu. So, ikkada if you fail, are you going to try again? So, nu fail aite, will you go, will you try again and again? Ani he wants us to be as strong as he was. So, we also can face all the challenges in our life. 
So, I hope you all understood and you all can remember these dialogues because these are the things where there were some turning points in Nick's life. Now, coming to the worksheet part 1, it is comprehension. Read the following passage. Now, this is the passage which has been compressed and uh, the gist of the uh, lesson has been given, a part of the lesson has been given. So, let us follow this and do the exercises related to that. Nick's mother was a nurse and his father was a computer programmer and an accountant. They decided to send him to a regular school. Regular school here means mainstream school. His mother made a plastic tool to, for him to hold a pen. So, plastic tool is a plastic device. His father put him in water at the age of 18 months. That gave him the courage to swim. So, here Nick's mother was a nurse and father a computer programmer. Then they sent him to mainstream school and mother made a plastic device for him to hold the pen and father helped him or enabled him to swim at the age of 18 months itself. Let us continue with the rest of the passage. Nick used an electric wheelchair, but at the age of 13, when he read an inspiring news article, he realized that God has given him life to encourage other disabled people. So, Ikkada, Nick ki oka wheelchair iva and uh, even his friends who teased him in the beginning, they helped him later. And at the age of 13, when he read this inspiring article, he realized that God has made him to encourage and give hope for the other people. His opinion strengthened with the help of his family and friends. So, support family, friends, then he also had faith in God. Now, based on this comprehension passage, you have some statements here. Uh, write true or false. Of course, you do not get true or false in the exams, but in order to find your comprehensive uh, strength, we have given some statements here. Let us see which is true and which is false. The first one, Nick's father was a nurse. So, Nick's father, Nick's father, he was a computer programmer, nurse, kaadu. mother was a nurse. So, ikkada idi false. Nick's mother was an accountant. So, here it is given the other way. Father was an accountant, but mother was a nurse. So, both the statements they are false. The plastic tool helped Nick to hold a pen. So, Atan Degaru a plastic tool and a plastic device it helped him to hold a pen. Yes, that is right. It was done by his mother. So, it is true. Nick's father put Nick in water to kill him. So, Nick's father he put him in water when he was 18 months old, uh, but is it to kill him? No, it was to help him swim. So, that is why the statement is false. Nick learned to swim. Yes, he became a swimmer. So, he that was with the help of and support of his father. So, this is again true. Nick hated God for not giving him wealth. So, enduku Nick hate chesado. At the age of 8 itself, he said, I hated God for the doing this to me. Ani. So, ante, why did he hate? It is not for the wealth, it is because he was a born torso. So, torso, ga, arms and legs, lekunda, anga vaikalyanta putte sarke, devuni dveshin chado. So, it was not for wealth. So, this is false statement. Nick killed himself. So, Nick, tanendano, hachi cheskunado. So, ante, suicide cheskunado. Did he? Yes, he committed suicide, but he did not die. So, that is why this is again a false statement. Nick read an inspiring news article at the age of 13. Yes, at the age of 13, that was a turning point in Nick's life. He read the news article and changed himself. He took a decision to inspire others. Now, I have given some comprehension questions also based on this passage. Try to answer the questions. The first two questions are WH questions and 3, 4, 5 are multiple choice questions. What was the occupation of Nick's parents? So, Nick's parents yoka occupation ain't Occupation means what they are doing. So, it is Nick's mother was a nurse and father was a computer programmer. Why did Nick's parents send him to mainstream school? mainstream school It was because Though he had a deformity of uh, bodily deformity, 
he was mentally strong and there was no mental deformity for him ante anga vaikalyam kevalam shariranike kaani atanu chakkaga pani chey he got a double degree also so that is why they thought that he was intelligent enough smart enough to go to mainstream school how was nick able to swim nick ela swim cheyagaligadu here you have three options nick's friends encouraged him to swim he took his mother's help to swim he was 18 months old when his father put him in water to enable him swim so here among the four three options given here the third one is the right option 18 months vayasulo tandri athanni neelallo vesesadu he wanted him to learn swimming at from that age itself he wanted to make him independent they did everything for him to make him independent see the fourth one what made nick hate god nick devuni enduku dveshinchadu god's help for nick god has helped nick his deformity that kept him away from normal life he got courage from god so among the three options given here a god's help for nick is wrong his deformity that kept him away from normal life yes athan normal life lead cheyadam like friends he was unable to uh, play and he was unable to move around without anybody's help when he was very young so our deformity valla he hated god what inspired nick change his opinion when he was in depressed state so depressed state lo unnapudu athan opinion ela change chesukunnadu the article of disabled helping the needy god's blessing of deformity his failure to commit suicide so edi athani inspire chesindi in his depressed state ante the article of disabled helping the needy now let us come to the next section that is vocabulary so vocabulary deal chese mundu i want to give you the meanings of certain words in order to make you understand what a nick's opinion is that is optimistic that is hopeful and confident about the future rude he was very rude uh, rude ane word ke meaning enti ante harsh so than rude kada then stubborn difficult to be changed having a fixed mind he doesn't want they don't want to change themselves flexibility undadu pompous feeling great of oneself ante baaga boasting anamata goppalu cheppukodam vaalla gurinchi vaallu goppalu cheppukodam sociable means friendly means mingling with everybody uh, trying to be friendly with everybody level headed calm and balanced so chala calm ga balanced ga ante elanti uh, hyperte idi lekunda level headed ante chala balanced mind tho annitni kuda equity of mind tho accept cheyadam anamata so these are uh, some of the meanings i can give you before uh, getting into the next topic or uh, the vocabulary remaining part of vocabulary let us take a small break మా కార్యక్రమంపై మీ అభిప్రాయాలు తెలియజేయగలరు ఈమెయిల్ డిడి సప్తగిరి విజయే ఎట్ ది రేట్ ఆఫ్ జీమెయిల్ డాట్ కామ్ ఫేస్బుక్ డబ్ల్యూ 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 డాట్ ఫేస్బుక్ డాట్ కామ్ స్లాష్ డిడి సప్తగిరి ట్విట్టర్ ట్విట్టర్ డాట్ కామ్ స్లాష్ డిడి సప్తగిరి విజయే ఇన్స్టాగ్రామ్ డబ్ల్యూ 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 డాట్ ఇన్స్టాగ్రామ్ డాట్ కామ్ స్లాష్ డిడి సప్తగిరి YouTube www.youtube.com/c/dd saptagiri Welcome back my dear students once again i want to remind you if you miss this program or if you want to go through once again the worksheet or it the other topics then you can visit the youtube channel of uh, dd saptagiri and you can uh, utilize uh, uh, their services okay now getting into the topic read the following words and tick the words that describe nick so here indaka manam cheptunnam kada nick konni words ki meanings cheptunnamu previous slide lo so ee words anni meanings chuste meeru you can understand and it is only to provide you the meaning so that you can easily attribute these qualities to nick so ikkada nick gurinchi manam telusukovalante let us see what are the qualities uh, that are in nick among the given words first one is positive so positive yes nick was positive and that is why he became successful so this is correct optimistic 
Yes, optimistic means having a broad mind and also feeling confident about the future. And a bhavishya tu gurinchi oka aase oka hope kaligina vyaktalip optimistic antam. So, this is also right about Nick. Dependent. In the beginning he was dependent, later he became independent. So, we cannot take this one. Confident. Yes, he was confident and that is why he became successful. So, confident koda manamo Nick quality ga chapko achu. Then sociable, yes he was able to face lakhs of people and inspire them. So, sociable is also a right word for Nick's uh, nature. Then cowardly, cowardly means bhayasthulan mata. They, uh, they are very afraid of doing anything. So, they take a back step always. So, akada cowardly anedi Nick ki suit kaadu. Quarrelsome, quarrelsome is one who always fights with others. So, this is also completely wrong with Nick. Negative. So, this negative attitude is not there in Nick. If at all he had a negative attitude, he could not have come out into the people. So, adi kuda wrong. Stubborn. Stubborn means have a fixed mind, not listening to anybody. They think that what they feel is right. So, flexibility lay the kabati. So, the stubborn is also not Nick's nature. Creative. Yes, he was creative. So, our creativity as Rujanatma Kata Undika, but he came into people and lazy. The next one is lazy, which is wrong with Nick. Level headed, yes, he had a balanced mind. That is why he started giving hope to others also. Courageous, yes, he was courageous. Rude, no, he was not rude. Atanlo, harsh nature as a ledu. So, this is wrong with Nick. Obedient, yes, he was obedient to his parents, then he was obedient to everybody and he liked everybody. Smart, smart in the sense here, it is intelligence, he was very clever and that is why he was able to finish his graduation in planning and finance, he got double degree. So, Adi, he was smart enough. Then independent, yes, he was able to, he is able to do things independently also because of uh, the support given by his parents, because of his uh, uh, small toe on his left hip, all these things helped him and even his family, wife, everybody. Pompous, pompous means showy. So, is he showy or is he boasting of himself? Is he talking great of himself? No, he is speaking facts. So, pompous is wrong. So, what are the qualities here that describe Nick? Positive, optimistic, confident, sociable, then creative, level headed, courageous, obedient, smart and independent. So, all these qualities we can uh, find in Nick's life uh, with his nature and with his attitude. Now, coming to the grammar part. Now, today we are going to deal with relative clause. So, here what is a clause? A clause is a group of words which has a subject and a verb also. So, here we are speaking about relative clause especially which belongs to this lesson. So, here in the previous week you have uh, learnt about defining relative clause. Clauses, relative clause are two types that is defining relative clause and non-defining relative clause. So, this relative clause actually it shows the relation with its antecedent that is with the subject to which it relates. A subject deni ki sambandhi inchina a clause ane edhi chepadani ki manam idhi relative clause ni use chestam e group of words ni. E relative clause eppidu kuda it starts with who, which, where, when, whom, why and whose, this whose is used instead of his, her, their, etc. So, here who and a put use chestam, who to start in the put use chestam, who is in the class, who is uh, uh, in uh, Delhi, it la manam oka relative clause ni who to a put use chestam ante when it relates a person ante vyakti sambandham aina vaati ki manam who use chestam, then which, which is used for things, animals, etc. or places. Then where, where is again for place, a relative clause which starts with where is used for places related to places. When, when uh, explains you about the time and then whom, whom is related to the object of the sentence. So, object ni relate chesed we use this word whom and why 
why eppudu use chestam ante it is for reason and it is used only for defining relative clause non defining relative clause lo manam idi cheyadam saadhyapadadu so then whose whose is instead of his her their that is possessive type then we use this whose so ivanni manamu drushtilo pettukuna pettukokapoyina defining relative clause ante enti non defining relative clause ante enti let us uh, uh, learn about them so defining relative clause is a relative clause which gives you the essential information about the subject so man maatlade vyakti gaani oka place gaani oka vastu gurinchi gaani maatladinappudu it uh, this clause gives the relation to that it shows the relation to that now for example my brother who is in london is a doctor now here i said my brother i have maybe i have many brothers నాకు ఇద్దరు ఉండొచ్చు ముగ్గురు ఉండొచ్చు బ్రదర్స్ సో ఏ బ్రదర్ గురించి నేను చెప్పాలనుకుంటున్నాను అది ఆ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఇవ్వకపోతే యూ వోంట్ అండర్స్టాండ్ విచ్ బ్రదర్ సో అందుకని మై బ్రదర్ హూ ఈజ్ ఇన్ లండన్ ఈజ్ అ డాక్టర్ అంటే లండన్లో ఉన్న బ్రదర్ గురించి ఐఎమ్ స్పీకింగ్ పర్టికులర్లీ అబౌట్ ద బ్రదర్ హూ ఈజ్ ఇన్ లండన్ ఐ మే హ్యావ్ టూ ఆర్ త్రీ బట్ ఐఎమ్ స్పీకింగ్ అబౌట్ దట్ పర్టికులర్ బ్రదర్ హూ ఈజ్ ఇన్ లండన్ సో దిస్ ఈజ్ అసెన్షియల్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఇక్కడ who is in london is the relative clause and that is the essential information so akada information lekapothe my brother is a doctor ante you may get confused which brother you know that i have two brothers or three brothers alantapudu this becomes an essential information so that was already dealt in the last week and now we are going to do with non defining relative clause in this class and this non defining relative clause this clause gives extra or additional information to you so ikkada extra or additional information about the antecedent and ikkada chudandi my brother john who is in london is a doctor now here i am speaking about my brother i am giving his name particularly his name my brother john so here without the relative clause who is in london a who is in london and a relative clause lekapoyina it gives you the complete sense my brother john is a doctor so i have three brothers i have two brothers or three brothers but i am speaking particularly about john so john is given here so he is a doctor akada who is in london is the extra information or additional information you need not define john here so that is why this is called as non defining relative clause and when you observe the difference between these two sentences here for uh, the first one in defining relative clause you don't have commas so because you need to define the person and here you have commas the uh, word is uh, the antecedent or the subject is uh, separated with the help of a comma so here who is in london is not an essential information it is an additional information atani gurinchi manamu inkoncham ekku chesi cheptunnam ante adanamga manam kontha information isthunnam ikkada have you understood students now see the non defining relative clause i gave you one more example here vani who is our english teacher has bought an electric scooter see i can as well say vani has bought an english uh, uh, electric scooter i can say that but i am giving you some more information who is our english teacher so this is not an essential one it is an additional information to you so here i have given the explanation also in the above sentence the clause who is our english teacher gives us an uh, additional information about vani we get the complete meaning even if we remove the who clause such clause is called non defining relative clause so this is separated with a comma or sometimes with a hyphen also so ikkada vani who is our english teacher has bought an electric scooter here vani is the subject we are particularly giving the name of the person so here we don't need any kind of other information but who is our english teacher is the additional information given about it so for example if you take uh, even our uh, the dd saptagiri channel which telecast all the lessons is supporting the education system the dd saptagiri channel is supporting the education system is as well 
a better sentence you get the complete information in akkada channel pair kuda cheptunnanu dd saptagiri channel ani so you don't need any essay, any other additional information but i am giving you the dd saptagiri channel which telecasts lessons for children is supporting the education system so here which gives lessons or telecast lessons for children that is a relative clause which shows its relation with the channel so are the uh, that shows the that gives the essence uh, the sorry the additional information about the channel so here there are some more examples for you what you have to do is you should insert commas wherever necessary so commas insert cheyandi because all these are non defining relative clause only so ala what ekkada comma pettali manamu non defining relative clause lo just identify that shweta who is our class leader has been suffering from fever for 2 days so here i am speaking about one particular person shweta so nenu shweta anukunda the girl anunte it becomes a defining relative clause kaani nen ikkada particular name ichanu so it is shweta so shweta so akkada you have to place a comma because who is our class leader this is a non defining relative clause which is giving you additional information so shweta has been suffering from fever for 2 days is a better sentence or a meaningful sentence it is a meaningful sentence but who is our class leader this is a relative clause so akkada manam daniki mundu venaka commas pettali charminar express which is running late will arrive on platform number 12 so ikkada i am giving you particularly charminar express the name of the express adhe nen ad ivvakapothe the express which is running late ante it becomes a defining relative clause students i am telling you the difference between defining and non defining so the express which is running anunte a express manaku teliyadu kaani ikkada i particularly mention charminar express so charminar express comma which is running late comma will arrive on platform number 12 which is running late is a relative clause where you have to put commas before and after that ooty which is a prominent tourist place is very cool during summer so ikkada kuda we gave that particular name of the place ooty so after ooty it should be a comma which is a prominent tourist place this is a relative clause which is a prominent tourist place is very cool during summer so which ki mundu place ki tarvata there should be commas ladoo which is my favorite sweet is being prepared today so i can simply say ladoo is being prepared today there might be many favorite sweets for me i i like uh, gulab jamuns i like jangri i like jalebi so many sweets but here i am particularly speaking about ladoo so after ladoo there should be a comma because which is my favorite sweet that is the relative clause which gives you additional information so which ki mundu sweet ki tarvata you have to place comma hari who is my best friend will come to our home this evening so here i am again giving you particularly the name of the person so here hari after hari you have to place a comma who is my best friend that is the relative clause which uh, it gives you some additional information will come to our home this evening so without this relative clause who is my best friend i can simply say hari will come to our home this evening but i have given some more information for you who is my best friend next sweety which is my pet dog went missing yesterday so here also i am giving you additional information which is my pet dog this is the additional information about sweety so sweety is the name of the dog so particular name of the dog is given to you and that is why you can put a comma after sweety and after dog so these are the sentences for identification actually in the examination you will not get a, uh, such sentences you will be asked to combine the sentences combine two different sentences with the relative clause like who which where uh, such words uh, you have to combine the sentences okay so now you have understood and in the later classes you will learn about uh, combining the sentences 
Now, let us come to the last part of the pro this uh, session that is biographical sketch. Now, in creative writing we have so many like biographical sketch, diary entry, description, uh, then uh, conversation, so many are there in paper 1 and paper 2. Now, this biographical sketch it belongs to paper 2 of your exams. So, let us do one biographical sketch, let us discuss one biographical sketch today. Now, what is a biographical sketch? It is a description, it describes and discusses the life of a real person. So, every now a Vyakti Gurinchi Manavedana describe Chial and Kunapudu, Ayan Gurinchi, Avala, Jivitan Loni Visayal Gurinchi Manan Chapal and Kunapudu, we can write a biography. Biography, what is biography? Biography is the life history of a particular person. Usually a celebrity or a well known personality. Echo Gai biographical sketch, it comes with well known personalities like political leaders or uh, uh, scientists or uh, great engineers or uh, freedom fighters. So, we write usually about such people. Then information based on facts. So, a biographical sketch Rasidapudo, we should have the information which is based on facts. We are not going to create anything on our own. It is completely based on the facts. Manam wala jivitam lo jarigina nijamaina experiences ni tarota nija sangata ante sachipurita maina sangatan le matra me manam consideration loke this call. Information from a reliable source. So, we take koda we have to follow some reliable source ante edaina sir authenticated ga undali wala gurinchi telisin information adi kachitanga nijamai undali. Develops a person as a real and interesting person worth discussing. So, ikkada mana ela develop chayali ante a real and interesting person ante ikkada discuss chayada aniki worth discussing. Discuss chayas e goppa vyaktitva aataniki unna vyaktika avalane manan tisko ni mana biographical sketch raayal suntundi. So, alage maniki asal biographical sketch maamul ga raasthi ila raastham. But here in 10th standard you have a guided biography like a guided biographical sketch that is you will be given the profile. So, what is a profile? A profile is they will give you the name or the full name, then date and place of birth, educational qualifications, the family details that is father and mother's name or their occupation, then career what uh, they are actually and their contributions to the society, their achievements, awards and honors, this achievements or awards and honors they are almost the same then date of demise. So, if the person is not existing, then the details of death also. So, they will be provided for you in the exam paper and you have to only take these things into consideration and write into one or two paragraphs according to your convenience. So, let us see one small information given here and let us try that. Okay? So, this is not actually about a well known personality, but in order to practice you can take this, you can take down this. So, it is a name Vijay Rao, then occupation is a painter, he is a simple man, primary education at MPP school Nellore, secondary education JPH school Vishakapatnam. Then college education is at government degree college Vijayawada. So, let us take this uh, small piece of uh, profile and try to develop that into a small bio sketch. Okay? So, once again you remember name is given, occupation is a painter, primary education, secondary education and college education are given. Now, basing on this we are going to sub support you with uh, uh, some words here, actually you will not be given these words, but uh, you have to uh, follow this and learn how to write a biographical sketch. So, here Vijay Rao dash a painter. Now, here the date of date of death is not given, he is a painter, he is still practicing this painting. So, he is a painter, then he dash primary education, he completed primary education at MPP school Nellore. He dash in JPI school Vishakapatnam. So, JPI school Vishakapatnam, he studied in JPI school Vishakapatnam. Academo completed primary education and namo, he could studied in JPI. In the country, after completed in the coach in the ante, primary education is an aspect. Okay, noun ga, okay, aspect ga this kunam. Ikada 
ప్లేస్ వేర్ హీ కంప్లీటెడ్ సో వేర్ అనేసరికి స్టడీ రాయాలి హీ హ్యాడ్ డాష్ కాలేజ్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ అట్ డాష్ విజయవాడ హీ హ్యాడ్ కంప్లీటెడ్ కాలేజ్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ఇక్కడ కూడా అంత కాలేజ్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ఒక ఆస్పెక్ట్ కాబట్టి కంప్లీటెడ్ రాసాము అట్ డిగ్రీ కాలేజ్ విజయవాడ ఓకే నౌ హియర్ యూ హ్యావ్ వన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఆఫ్ ద బయోగ్రఫికల్ ప్రొఫైల్ ఆఫ్ సుధామూర్తి జస్ట్ గో త్రూ దిస్ అండ్ ట్రై టు కాపీ డౌన్ ఇన్ యువర్ నోట్ బుక్స్ అండ్ ట్రై టు డెవలప్ దిస్ సుధామూర్తిస్ బయోగ్రఫికల్ స్కెచ్ బాన్ సుధా కులకర్ణి సో వెన్ షీ వాజ్ బాన్ హర్ నేమ్ వాజ్ సుధా కులకర్ణి and uh, on 19th august 1950 her date of birth is also given here then citizenship indian by nationality she is indian then alma mater new york university that is where she completed her higher studies alma mater is where you complete your higher university studies then occupation chairperson infosys foundation uh, that is uh, her uh, a uh, career which she developed she was a she is a chair person even today then she is a writer also so her uh, occupation as a writer then spouse nr narayan murthy she is uh, the wife of nr narayan murthy who uh, who is the founder of uh, infosys foundation the uh, great it technology then children she has two children and her notable works means what she wrote she is a writer we already discussed so she is a writer how i taught my mother to read this is one of her uh, famous uh, stories then mahashweta and dollar bahu these are her notable works then career the career she was the first female engineer at tata tata company that is telecommunications company and then she is a visiting professor even today she is a visiting professor at a college in bangalore uh and then uh, writer mana already cheptunnam kada she is a writer ani so she is a famous writer also and the award she received is padma shri the most prestigious award the civil civilian award uh, of our nation adi kuda teeskunda avada so based on these information you can write about so usually you will be given about great personalities only so here this is sudha murthy because she married narayan murthy she became sudha murthy and all the details are given hope you have copied these details and i want you to develop a biographical sketch on your own okay uh, so i hope all these details are sufficient and uh, Uh, the four sections uh, the vocabulary then the comprehension the grammar and uh, a create one of uh, one part of the creative writing a part of the creative writing is covered today i hope you made a best use of this program thank you my dear students and uh, i wish that you all should watch this if you have any doubts you can watch this through youtube channel and uh, you can Uh, get the best uh, profit or uh, best uh, um, out of it okay thank you very much karyakramam pai mi abhiprayalu telayegalaru email dd saptagiri vja@gmail.com facebook www.facebook.com/dd saptagiri ట్విట్టర్ ట్విట్టర్ డాట్ కామ్ స్లాష్ డిడి సప్తగిరి విజేఏ ఇన్స్టాగ్రామ్ డబ్ల్యూ 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 డాట్ ఇన్స్టాగ్రామ్ డాట్ కామ్ స్లాష్ డిడి సప్తగిరి యూట్యూబ్ డబ్ల్యూ 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 డాట్ యూట్యూబ్ డాట్ కామ్ స్లాష్ సి స్లాష్ డిడి సప్తగిరి